You might have noticed a change in your neighborhood lately. Yep, Sprint stores are now T-Mobile stores. Now that Sprint is T-Mobile, you get more coverage, value, and benefits than ever before. We've invested billions to bring our 5G from big cities to small towns across America. And great coverage is just the start. From high-speed mobile hotspot data to weekly deals and giveaways, our customers get tons of great benefits. Head to your new T-Mobile store to learn more. Qualifying service and capable device required. Coverage not available in some areas. Some uses may require certain plan or features. See T-Mobile.com. Welcome back to Daybreak USA with Rod Ray, and now it's time for the Monday edition of Weather with a Beat. Seattle 56, Portland 71, 87 in Sacramento, 71 in San Francisco, 75 in LA, 83 in Las Vegas, 89 in Phoenix, 67 degrees in Albuquerque, 48 in Denver, 65 in Salt Lake City, 57 in Minneapolis, 63 degrees in Omaha. 55 in Topeka, 71 in Oklahoma City, 58 in Amarillo, 91 degrees in Dallas, 88 degrees in Houston, 89 in New Orleans, 84 in Little Rock, 82 in St. Louis. Chicago comes in at a nice 74, while Atlanta hits 80. It'll be 88 in Miami, 85 in Charlotte, 81 in Roanoke, 79 in the nation's capital, 74 in New York City, and 58 in Boston. Rain in the Four Corners area and traveling over to the panhandle of Texas, Oklahoma, and parts of Nebraska and Kansas. Also heavy rain in Iowa and Michigan, as well as a storm that starts in New Orleans and goes all the way through New York State. And that's a look at Monday's Weather with a Beat. And now, let's take a look at sports. Just one game in the NHL yesterday. It was Tampa Bay Lightning 2, Detroit Red Wings 1. In the NBA, Toronto destroyed the Lakers, while Milwaukee got by Brooklyn 117-114. Portland 10 better than the Boston Celtics. Sacramento 111, Dallas 99. New York Knicks 122-97 over Houston, while in overtime, Philadelphia downed the Spurs by a deuce. It was Phoenix 123-120 over Oklahoma City, and Miami 121, Charlotte 111. In Major League Baseball's Yankees 2, Detroit nothing. Nationals 3-1 over the Marlins, St. Louis 3-0 over Pittsburgh. Toronto 7, Atlanta 2. In 10 innings, Cincinnati beats Chicago's Cubs 13-12. Tampa Bay 5-4 over Houston. Cleveland 5-0 over the White Sox. Dodgers 16, Milwaukee 4. Minnesota 13-4 over the Kansas City Royals. Texas Rangers 5-3 over Boston. Oakland 7, Baltimore 5. 2-0 Seattle over the Angels. And San Francisco beats San Diego 7 to 1. It was 8 4 Diamondbacks over the Rockies and 8 7 Mets over the Phillies. That's sports and weather together, right here on Daybreak USA with Ron Ray. Do you need to sell your home? If you've sold a home before, you remember how stressful and expensive it was. Sold.com is here to help you sell your home for the most money and with the least amount of stress. There are new ways to sell your home that you've never heard of before. Did you know there are companies who will offer you cash for your home? Did you know you could trade in your home for a new one? Did you know there are realtors who will sell your home for a flat fee instead of an expensive commission? It's true. Sold.com services are free. So if you're looking to sell, make this free phone call right now and learn how your next home sale can be faster and easier than you ever thought possible. Pick up your cell phone and call right now. 800-990-3125. 800-990-3125. 800-990-3125. Again, that's 800-990-3125. Okay, we are running a car drive right now to help veterans all across America. So if you have an old car, truck, or van, even a motorcycle or an RV sitting around, you can right now give it away and help the vets. They really need your help. And your car will help support the vets and their families. And guess what? You even get a tax donation. Plus, we'll even come and pick up your car for free. And all you've got to do is pick up your phone right now and make a free call. Now is the perfect time 
time to do something good for the vets. Give back to the vets right now for all they've done for this country. And your old car can really help them. So call the Veterans Car Donation Program right now for free pickup of your vehicle. Help the vets and help your taxes at the same time. Call right now. 800-882-2093. 800-882-2093. 800-882-2093. That's 800-882-2093. Welcome back. Good to have you with us on this Monday morning. A couple things did happen in the music world. On this day in 1960, the Fantastics opened off-Broadway. Never played on the big boards in New York, but became the longest-running musical show in New York history. Over 10,000 performances between 1960 and 1984. On this Sunday night in 1964, Jerry and the Pacemakers made their U.S. TV debut on the Ed Sullivan Show. They performed Don't Let the Sun Catch You Crying. They did a United States tour along with the Zombies. Tell her no, etc., etc. I don't know how this happened. In 1967, the Walker brothers announced they disbanded. Oh, no. What, they weren't brothers anymore? No, they were just acquaintances. Anyhow, in 1967, also, Carl Wilson of the Beach Boys went to court on draft evasion charges. The Beach Boys? How un-American. On this day in 1969, at Toronto International Airport, Jimi Hendrix arrested for possession of hashish and heroin. When he crossed the Canadian border for a concert in Toronto, guess what he claimed? What does every drug addict claim? They weren't his. Released on $10,000 bail and was acquitted in December. Yeah, sure, right. A Dollywood opened on this day in 1986 for the first time in beautiful Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. They're all moving there, yeah. (laughs) And that's a couple things that happened in the music world. Well, we were talking just a smidgen about uh, world leaders, and one came up, uh, Kim Jong-un, where is he, what's he doing? Well, retired General Jack Keane appeared yesterday on the Talking Head shows and talked about our future with North Korea. Well, finally, we got the bombastic, blustery comments that every administration (laughs) has received from North Korea you know, for multiple generations. So it's finally here. And uh, I I think there are some things that are different. Uh, Yes, we got the language, we hear the rhetoric, the threats are there, but there's no ballistic missiles being fired on a regular basis like they were when President Trump assumed power. And we're in a much more dangerous situation with North Korea firing ICBMs, which are missiles that can reach Mm -hmm. the entirety of of the United States and threatening to use those missiles against the United States. That resulted in the summit, and, and nothing came of this summit because the United States figured out the Korean, North Koreans weren't really serious. I think the Biden administration, uh, looking at that, uh, will not move towards a certainly a, a, a big summit among the heads of states. They'll work at a much lower level to see if the, if the North Koreans are going to do anything credible in terms of denuclearization, take some small steps in that area. Certainly, the North Koreans are... St- Still motivated, remove the sanctions. That's what they want. Okay. Uh, Chris, is Ed McMahon around by any chance? What's that? Ed McMahon, because I got to do one Karnak. Okay. Let me, uh, let me, let me go get him? Yeah, get him for a second. Yeah. Hey! Hey! <laughs> All right, here you go. Oh, God. He's... Okay. okay. Hello, Bim sir. Salam. Bim Salabim. <laughs> The correct answer, now this has been hermetically sealed in a jar of mayonnaise in uh, Youngstown, Ohio. <laughs> Thank you, right? Miracle there. whip. And the answer is ICBM. ICBM, not for a month. Go ahead. And the question is, what do you say to a bad puppy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's Hi-oh. it. Hi-yo. Thanks Wait. for helping me with the punchline. <laughs> oh, you're done? Yeah. <laughs> I'm done. That's all I got. Oh. There you go. Oh. So. All right. Give Ray uh, my best. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks for filling in. Oh, <laughs> uh, my word. So, anyhow, 
Jack Keen says it's different, but no more love letters, no more flowery gifts Aww. or anything like that. A shame. You mean he's not going to be able to come over here courtside and watch the Knicks? Well, as long as Dennis Rodman is at his side, everything's okay. Yeah. Who's going to say no to Dennis Rodman? Who could say no to Dennis Rodman? Madonna. <laughs> <laughs> Well, actually, at first, there wasn't much no from what I hear. That's right. I may say no, 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 but do it again. Yeah. Yeah. On this day in 1937, Margaret Mitchell won a Pulitzer Prize for a little thing called Gone with the Wind, Mm -hmm. which, of course, could probably not be made now. No. But that's another story for another time. And um, (laughs) this was always fun when you were a kid. 1966. On this night, on The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, they featured the game Twister. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> now, that's television no. right there. <laughs> right like green. No. <laughs> it was just a good way to get entangled with Ed. The, the opposite sex. Yes, yeah. <laughs> or whatever. I wonder who did it. Maybe the Tea Time movie girl. Oh, man. Did you ever play she Twister? Died, yeah. I, oh, yes, absolutely. I have never played it. Well, like I said, it was an excuse to get tangled up with women. Yeah. I didn't and partake in such activities. I'm a pure know, kind of fella. I, know. I understand. <laughs> <laughs> but it was fun. Yeah. It was worth the trip, of course. And, you know, when we come back, we've got some great birthdays today and some famous dates in history. Well, give us a little probably... teaser. we got a little time. Well, we do have a Come on, time. give him an appetizer. Uh, Washington, D.C. was incorporated today in 1802. So it's its 219th uh, tw- th birthday. Well, Mazatov. Yes. <laughs> and in 1921, it was the beginning of the end. West Virginia imposed the first state sales tax. The state looked at the federal government and said, how come they're getting all the money? Yeah. And uh, Thomas Edison got his patent for the phonograph on this day in 1888. That Tom Edison, it wasn't for him. Uh, Where would we be? Have lights 20 years later. Yeah, some well, say be watching TV in the dark. Some <laughs> say Nikola Tesla was actually the originator. He was. It's a great movie. Watch it. Learn it. Live it. Love it. I mean... A lot of big rollers in there, including the Rockefellers and the... They are saying Tesla was actually the father of radio, not Marconi. I'm just going by what I've heard, so don't shoot me. Like I said, see the movie. It's a heck of a war, that's for sure. On this day, 50 years ago today, NPR broadcast for the first time. They're still doing the same stuff 50 years later. They don't even have to play the oldies. They are. Run Ray on the radio, and there's no NPR niceness from me. On Daybreak USA. Welcome back. If you only Daybreak. knew what we were doing in the parade. Is, I hope our engineer is still okay. <laughs> Captain Chris? I, 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 you oh, there's okay? modern technology, right? I know. We Aren't, have gone too we're far. We're so lucky to have We'll had let it. everybody in on the joke because it's not good to have inside jokes on radio shows. But we shared through modern telephony, known as the interweb thing, a picture <laughs> of the girl. Technology, not telephony. I, well, yeah. it's partly telephony. Okay. You know. well, okay. All right. I showed Chris a picture of the girl who killed this army veteran. Who who dedicated? Yes, said he his w- life, right? Would give fought his life ISIS, no to less. this country to protect people, and he gets taken out th- by this girl who has ugly on reserve. Okay. Well, now come on, that was her mugshot. She was probably a doll when she got herself all I'm made up. I'm sure that she was just beautiful when she was made up. Yeah. So was Peter Boyle and Young Frankenstein. But that's another story for another <laughs> another time. By uh, the way, all right, I'm gonna I'm gonna pull you out before you get yourself into what, trouble what? if it's not too late already. No. 
uh, Radio Shack is being kind of reborn, remember? Oh, good, because yes. there's some things I need. I've been waiting to get them. Until oh, they went okay. Back uh, it will be called uh, Radio Shack Express. Uh-huh. Uh, store within a store. They ha- they they're in cahoots now with a hundred Hobby Town stores across the U.S. Well, Hobby so Town the, is owned by the Tandy Corporation, which is the original leather company. I've never heard that. of. Oh yeah, um, I've never heard of Hobby Town. I've yeah. heard of the other Hobby store, but not Hobby Town. Yeah, Hobby Town. That's, gotcha. Okay, yeah. so there'll be a store within a store, and they're gonna. Uh, try it out in 100 of the 150 stores. Well, if you're into radio or into oh, audio of any and kind, and need for some the home. cheap gadgets to, I need a connector, a and connector for this. There's nowhere They're to go great. anymore. Yeah, you're right. Because Walmart can't carry all the variety there are. Anymore. Oh, not like Radio Shack no, did. Like no, Radio they Shack. they really did serve a purpose. I'm st- I'm still kind of surprised they went out of business. No, it's simple. They I were didn't. useful. Yeah, but but they they almost had it and they didn't they started having a catalog and you could order out of the catalog but they never really pushed it and the other thing was that i think a lot of people didn't like is whenever you went in there they wanted your phone number and your address so they could send you their mailer well people when they go in to buy something yeah please don't in the mood to be right suck dry for information i I gotta play this clip because i put it off like four times you know we talked yesterday about Caitlin Collins being ostracized from the press corps and asking yes and not admitted when the European Union commissioner and the president spoke on the White House lawn well what was the reason why she was barred was from an earlier it's not a conversation so I can't call it that we'll just play it here are the questions that Caitlin Collins asked that got her barred uh, from the White House lawn ceremony okay. yesterday. Did Michael Cohen betray you, Mr. President? Thank you, everybody. Mr. President. Did Michael Cohen betray you? Are you everybody. leaning towards tariffs on Thank cars, you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. Mr. President, are you worried about what Michael Cohen is on, going Caitlin. to say Thank to prosecutors? You. Thank you, Caitlin. Let's keep going. Are you worried about what is on the other tapes, Mr. Let's President? Keep Thank you all. Let's keep going. Thank you, everybody. Why has Vladimir Putin not accepted you, your invitation? Let's keep going. Thank Mr. you, everybody. President. Thank you, everybody. Let's go. Come on, guys. Thank you very much. Why has Vladimir Putin not accepted your invitation, Thank you, Mr. President? That's right. Thank you. And the bottom line is, he didn't answer the question. No. No. I, once again, those and inmi- those uh, exactly those types of questions are going to be on the docket no. for him for a while now. No, those are the exact questions that Americans want to hear the answers that's right. to. That's right. Okay. And good reporters ask those kinds of questions. And if that's what's going to get you, bu- if and once again, I'm not saying that repeating the same question and yelling it at somebody four times in a row is ethical or not ethical i don't uh, really agree with the approach methodology but i do agree that those are the questions that the people of america wanted to know yesterday Mm -hmm. and she asked the question i don't think it was that bad and personally i think that if you are in a position that you have to answer the the questions of the press you need a little thicker skin than to have something that lightweight bother you. And it, and really, when I stopped and thought about it and heard it again, poor Sarah Huckabee Sanders, which is a sentence I never thought I would put together in my life, she goes through 10 times that every day in her job. Oh. If, if, if that's what it took to get barred from the, the morning gaggle, Right. Sarah would be by herself, okay, because everybody right. would have been barred from yeah. it. Yeah. I mean, that was lightweight stuff. Yeah, they, this isn't a game of softball. But Sarah Sanders puts up with that kind of every, every day. day. And so for this to get under the skin of somebody enough to say, we don't want them at the press meeting with the guy, was she a, was somebody afraid that she was going to yell that stuff again, and yelling might even be extreme. 
trying to get your voice heard over, over other 30 others. other voices right. is all that was. Amazing. We're Rod and Ray. We have to step aside for this cause for the pause, and we'll be back with more on Daybreak USA. Attention! Sorry I'm talking a little loud because I want to reach people with a hearing problem. Do you want to hear better for just $299? Yes, not thousands, but for $299. You can hear all the sounds you've been missing for years. Hearing Help Express has been helping people hear better, selling top quality hearing aids for over 30 years. Now is your best chance to hear better with hearing aids for $299 with our free 45-day home trial offer. And you don't even need to leave your home or get a hearing test. Call now to start your free 45-day risk-free home trial offer. All it takes is a free hearing consultation. Learn how Hearing Help Express can improve the quality of your life with better hearing. Call now. 800-516-7448. 800-516-7448. 800-516-7448. That's 800-516-7448. With a recession ending, if you've been putting off building your business, now is the time to act. General Steel will meet or beat any price on a pre-engineered steel building of the same size and specifications. Act now before steel prices go up. So call us today for free information. Call 800-965-1290. 800-965-1290. 800-965-1290. The following update is for drivers who pay too much for car insurance due to DUIs, DWIs, tickets, or anything else. Our company specializes in low-cost SR22 auto insurance. We know that mistakes happen and offer free quotes for very affordable auto insurance meant specifically for you, the overpaying high-risk driver. The quote is free and we'll handle the filing so you can start saving money. Call 800-758-0725. 800-758-0725. 800 758 0725. Welcome back to Daybreak USA. I am taking over. What? I am taking over because I have to. I just can't even go there. Okay. But it's four minutes before the top of the hour. If you need to be somewhere, by all means, shake a leg. Yeah, what do you got? Yes. Uh, 2018 Triple Crown winner Justify has officially been retired because of fluid in his left front ankle. Trainer Bob Baffert said he and the horse's owners couldn't determine if he would be healthy enough to race by the fall and instead chose to call it a career for the historic horse. He's just not responding quick enough for a fall campaign, Baffert said. We all wanted to see Justify run again, but ultimately it is his responsibility to make sure he's perfect without 60 to 90 days. He said he just can't be definite. Well, first of all, let's be perfectly frank here. When they say it's not the money, it's, it's always, always the money. It's always the money. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Justify was sold uh, to a, a bloodstock group that would be a breeding organization yes. in uh-huh. par- horse race parlance for $100 million. So that piece of horse flesh wow. is worth $100 million. I haven't heard that if term he, in a while. If he raced in the fall, it would be to be in the Breeders' Cup Championship, which is a race that the purse is $5 million. Wow. That, mis- that means that if he won that race, a very prestigious race, mm-hmm. no question, he would receive $2.5 million. Okay. After shipping him to the race, after paying the jockey, after paying the trainer and everything else, probably clear money from Mm. the purse at Mm -hmm. about two million dollars okay the horse is worth 100 million dollars in stud stud and is and this race is worth two million would Mm. you would you risk 100 million to make two million no No. No. he'll look just as pretty in the pasture Uh, and and once again um this is a horse that has a lot going for it in the breeding shed because his Prodigy have done very well as breeders. Obviously, they bred a Triple Crown winner. And second of all, the fact that this horse, and this is maybe the key, this horse was never defeated on the racetrack. He ends up his career 
eight starts, eight wins. So if he went out Beautiful. and was 50% of himself and got beaten by a nose and became eight for nine, that's, yeah, right. that, that hurts his, his record, right? Right, his exactly. legacy. We're Rod and Ray. The hour has come and gone way too quick. quickly. We thank you for being there on Daybreak USA. There's no debate. Americans want investments in clean energy to create millions of good-paying jobs and help solve the climate crisis. And they want big corporations and the wealthy to pay their fair share. That's what Biden's Build Back Better plan would do. Millions of jobs, a clean energy future, and not a penny more in taxes for 99% of Americans. The clean energy future we want can be ours if Congress acts now.